This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar covering new features in Adobe Premiere Pro 24.5. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Another feature which is surprisingly cool is we can do faster proxies, which is always good, but we can also create custom watermarks. Let me show you how this works. This air show footage is just too big. We'll pretend it's 8K or 12K or 761K. It's just some ridiculous size, and I don't need it to be that big. I want to be able to edit proxies. Proxy editing is useful when you're doing multicam work, when you're running on slower machines like Intel systems, when you're working with really large frame sizes, when you don't have enough RAM. There's lots of reasons technically why you want to edit proxies. And for some reason, editors feel that if I edit with a proxy, I'm not a professional editor. Wrong. You're a smart editor because you want to use use computer cycles for creating the edit, not simply playing back media. So I want to create a proxy. To do that, there's a variety of ways. We can create proxies on import, or we can create proxies after the fact. I'm going to right mouse click on this clip and scroll down to where it says proxy right here. And notice I have the option to create a proxy. So I'm going to create a proxy. And notice that, as before, I can have full-size proxies, generally not a good choice, half, quarter, or custom. Half is almost always a good choice because it's four times smaller just because of the way cutting a video in half works. So we're going to say half. And ProRes QuickTime Proxy is always the best choice. It's small, but not the smallest. It's extremely fast, holds all the color information, brews coffee, slices bread, tucks you in bed at night. ProRes QuickTime Proxy is an excellent choice. But if you absolutely positively have to have the smallest file size, change it to H.264 or H.264 MPEG-4. ProRes 422 is 100% size. ProRes Proxy is 10% of ProRes. H.264 is roughly 10% of the ProRes Proxy. Much smaller file, but harder to edit, not the same color space, harder, especially with a multicam. If you need absolutely to save space, use H.264, but most of us don't need to save that much space. Work with ProRes Proxy, you're going to have better results, better color, greater flexibility, all the way, all around good. So far, no changes. This is what's new. I can create a custom watermark. So I'm going to click OK. And now, notice what's happened over in Media Encoder. Media Encoder is automatically compressing this file. And look at how fast that went. It was darn quick. We go back to Premiere, and now I've got a proxy for this entire video. If I go up to the toolbar, see this icon allows me to toggle proxies on and off. Whoa! What is this? This is a watermark. I can now put my own custom watermark on the video. And you toggle proxies on and off by clicking this button. This button is available by clicking the plus key and dragging this icon down to the toolbar. And then you can toggle. Now we're at the high res, now we're at proxies. High res, proxies. One mouse click trivial and and all the effects that i apply to the proxy are instantly applied to the master i don't have to redo any of my work very cool decreases load on a computer all is good but how did i create this glad you asked that question in photoshop i created a proxy now let me just put something together make this easier to see what i've found works the best is if you create a frame in Photoshop that matches the size of the project frame. When the proxy is created, it takes this Photoshop frame. Notice I've got a transparent background and white text. The black is just to make it easy for you to see. I created the size. I created the design. It could be whatever you want. Adobe gives us this really faint symbol over here, which is just not meaningful. I want to have this proxy. Maybe it's keep your hands off, see this and die, custom rights, whatever you need. You can put it here. Then you save it as a Photoshop file with transparent background. It then takes this text and scales it in half, which means it's one quarter the size due to how scaling works. And Premiere puts it right in the mid of, middle of the frame. 
I've not found a way, although I haven't experimented for more than an hour, I have not found a way to put it anywhere on the left edge of the frame, nor in the right corner. It works the best by putting itself in the center. So that's why it's here. Notice that it's nicely centered on the frame. Can we play with it some? Yeah, play with it and see what you like. But really all we're trying to do is to watermark this so people don't run off with our footage. Now when we're done, when you want to switch, we can switch back here. If you need to get rid of the proxies, just simply right click on the clip, select proxy, detach proxies. What if you want to change the proxy or delete the proxy? Where is that stored? It's stored in the same location. Let's just go to reveal in finder. Here's my source file, which is a 3K file. And in the folder above it, see where it's called proxies? Highlight this and there's our proxy file. So to get rid of the proxies that you don't need, simply highlight it, delete it. I'm in the finder, You just like you delete any other file. And then here it's going to say it can't find it. I'm going to offline it and make sure that with this clip, I just say proxies, detach proxies, and we've disconnected it again. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Adobe Premiere Pro version 24.5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 367. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.